Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Kendra and today I'm excited to share some of the cards that I made with the Not Too Shabby Shops box of the month for November of 2023 and this is called Desert Dreams. Now I shared an unboxing video yesterday so if you missed that and you'd like to see all of the contents in this kit up close I will link that in the description box below for you. But for the cards that I'm sharing with you today I'm using the two stamp sets that you just saw and they're called Cowgirl's Heart and also the Western Sentiments. And then I'm using this first paper pad that's called Cowgirl Up. Now there are two paper pads in the kit and I plan to use both, but for today's video, I'm just using these products. Now, when you have a paper pad with gorgeous patterns like this, sometimes you don't wanna cut them up into smaller pieces and you just wanna let the beautiful paper do all the work. So for the images on my cards, I'm also using the ephemera pack that goes with it. And because these images are also so beautiful and the papers are gorgeous, it won't take much to make pretty cards. So I wanted to share what I normally do to create a bunch of cards with this simple cutting guide. Now I'm not sure if you can see the measurements on this cutting guide or not, but I'll just kind of explain what I do. First, I cut it three and three quarter inches, and then I trim off an inch from the bottom of that piece so that I'll have a three and three quarter inch by five inch panel. And then for the two and a quarter inch piece that's left over, I either trim this down to five and a half inches and use it directly on the card base as a strip without layers, or I'll trim it to five inches and pair it with another piece. And I'll show you that here in just a moment. Now, normally I have a tutorial or I show the card making process, but today I'm just sharing the finished cards, but I will explain what I did. First, I wanna share the cards where I used the full three and three quarter inch by five inch panels. And for most of my cards, I used craft card stock for my card bases. Now this one has a brown layer and I used a tag punch with some Rococo Rose card stock. It matches that pattern paper really well. And I added a twine bow and a strip of brown card stock with some enamel dots. And this was popped up with some foam tape to give it some dimension. For this next card, I made the wood panels go horizontal instead of vertical like the last card. I added two pieces of ephemera, the horse and the boots, and for the sentiment, I stamped Wild Hearts Can't Be Broken with some brown ink, and it was stamped onto some petal pink cardstock that I also use for my layer, and I cut that die out with my ornate label die from my stash, and I also added a tw uh, twine bow. Here's another card with a full panel vertical wood grain background, and I layered up the sentiment boots, lace, and a whole lot of grace with a brown two and a half inch circle and I stamped the sentiment onto some petal pink cardstock, and I used a two and a quarter inch circle for that. And then I used the boot and pink flowers for the image and a bow made from tulle ribbon with dots. I thought this looked a lot like lace and I really love how this card turned out. This next one is actually a full panel with a couple of half inch strips of the olive green dotted cardstock that I placed toward the bottom. And I included the sentiment Forget glass slippers, this princess wears cowboy boots between those two strips. And I finished this off with some pink rhinestones. For this next card, I used the Country Roads Take Me Home stamp on ivory cardstock and punched that out with a circle die. And I layered it with the same olive green color that's used for the layer behind the pattern paper. And I added another lace bow. Here's a card with that beautiful horse die cut and the sentiment that reads, Saddle Up Cowgirl. Again, on petal pink cardstock, I used a stitched square die to punch that out, and I added a twine bow and an enamel dot to finish this off. Here's another full panel card with a half inch strip running vertically across the top right side with that tool ribbon on top. That strip is from the Rococo Rose cardstock, and I stamped I'm head over boots for you and added ivory and brown cardstock circle layers. And I finished this off with three white glitter enamel dots. This next card is very similar, but without the strip and the lace. And I swapped sides with the layout. I layered this with mint green cardstock and I added a twine bow to finish it off. And of course, I wanted to have a card that I could use for a man. So on this one, I used a wood grain background panel and added some boots. And I used the stamps, Yeehaw, It's Your Birthday. And to give something for those boots to rest on, I added a quarter inch strip toward the bottom. Now this next card is a sneak peek of one of the cards that will be part of Kendra's Card Challenge 13 that starts January. It's a full panel card that's made to look like a faux shutter card. 
And because this paper is so gorgeous, I wanted it to be featured as much as possible. I couldn't wait to share it with you, but this is a three and three quarter inch by five inch panel with a four by five and a quarter inch layer in the Red Poppy Parade cardstock. I cut an ivory two and a quarter inch square for the center, and I added the hat ephemera and stamped Hey Y'all below it. And then I added quarter inch strips of the same red cardstock and I placed it around that square to make it look like a faux shutter card. This was super fun to make and like I said it will be one of the sketches in challenge 13 that will begin January 1st of 2024. This is another card where I used the full panel of that distressed wood grain with the pink paint and I added the sentiment wild hearts can't be broken on a stitched square with the larger horse image and a twine bow. For this card, I used the smaller horse image and I added a strip of scrap cardstock across the bottom on top of the distress panel. And I added two one quarter inch strips along the edges to make it look like it's layered. And I also added some of that tool or lace ribbon across the bottom, even though it's really hard to see in this video. And I added some peel off stickers to give some shine above and below that ribbon. Now these next cards are the ones I created with the two and one quarter inch strips. For this one, I added mint cardstock as my bottom layer on craft cardstock. And then I added some dark brown quarter inch strips along the edge. And I used the lace ribbon across the bottom and the top. And I just love the sentiment on the stitch fishtail banner. Now for this card, I used a textured ivory cardstock for the card base. It has a little bit of a shine to it. And I just moved that strip down a little bit and I stamped it's your birthday on one of the quarter inch strips and then I put some really thin peel off stickers along the edges of both of those strips just to give it some shine. Here's another with the two and a quarter inch strip uh, in the middle. On this one I put the lace along the top and the bottom of that strip and I used my circle punches for the sentiments and popped those up with some foam tape to give it some dimension along with those boots. I added some foam tape to the back of those as well. And here's another one with the strip in the middle again, but I moved the layered circle sentiment to the bottom right this time and it included a scallop circle and I added some pink rhinestones across the top left strip. Now this one is similar again with the strip in the middle, but I centered the sentiment and I added two images with a twine bow in the center. And to finish that off, I used some gl glitter enamel dots. Now this card is actually two different strips. You can't really tell because of the way I placed the sentiment, but I used the two shades of pink and I covered up the seam with the sentiment and I added a twine bow. I just love this one. And to finish off this card, I added the three glitter enamel dots vertically in the top right hand corner. So pretty. All right, on this one, I placed the strip across the bottom and I added that pink quarter inch strip and some lace above that. The olive green layer is actually textured. I'm not sure if you can see that here on camera, but it has tiny dots. But I did this one similar to the, a card that I've already shown as far as the basket of flowers and the sentiment on the tag. But I added the rose gold peel off sticker to give it some shine. Here's another one where I used two strips together. And of course I had to trim one of those down, but I made this a portrait card and I stamped the sentiment, you are the he to my haul on one of those heart pieces of ephemera and again I added lace ribbon on the top of that quarter inch strip and I just love these beautiful boots absolutely gorgeous and another one this is almost just like the last one except I used that hat image and on the heart I stamped hey y'all on this one I used a smaller strip and added some peel off stickers along the edges and I used that same ornate label die from my stash to cut out the sentiment. And I added a twine bow onto the basket of flowers. Now let's get to the cards where I used the smaller pieces. These are the one by three and three quarter inch pieces that were cut off the bottom from that paper cutting guide that I showed earlier. But I just lined up these five strips on a green layer since they were all flowers. And I think this one turned out really pretty too. You can't really tell that it's a bunch of different strips, but I just love this sentiment and these images. If you don't like the seam showing, you can always add peel off stickers on top of those seams. And not finally for the last card, this is where I took more of those scrap pieces 
and even the smaller ones from the bottom right corner. And I just arranged it on an ivory layer. There are three patterns for the bottom pieces and I just kind of arranged this like a quilt within that three and three quarter by five inch space, making sure to leave a spot to be able to stamp the sentiment howdy there in the middle. Now this one is different, but I was glad to use up those scraps. If you've been with my channel a while, you know I don't like to have scraps. I try to use every bit of paper that I can. And that's mainly one of the reasons why I created my card making challenges. I wanted to be able to use up the paper in an economical way. Speaking of my challenges, Not Too Shabby Shop is one of the amazing super sponsors of the Kendra's Card Challenge 12, and you can have a chance to win lots of prizes, including a $25 gift card to the Not Too Shabby Shop for joining the challenge. More information about the challenge can be found in the linked video in the description box below. Now, if you love this kit and want to get one before it sells out, I hope you'll use my affiliate link in the description box below to subscribe to their box of the month. These cards that I shared today were made with just a portion of what comes in that box. I have a few other videos coming up soon where I share the cards made with the other paper pad and ephemera from this kit using my challenge number 12. So make sure you're a subscriber if you're not already and turn on those notifications so you don't miss any of my new uploads. I'll show one last quick look at the 24 cards I made with the supplies from the November 2023 box of the month from Not Too Shabby. The stamp sets again were called Cowgirl's Heart and Western Sentiments and we pad and ephemera pack that comes in this box that I'll be sharing the cards that I made with these soon. You'll have to let me know in the comment section below which of these cards is your favorite or at least which image in all. Teresa did an amazing job designing these paper pads and ephemera. She is super talented. 